Hello everyone, I am so excited to show you our Google site. This is like a website where I can put some information about our class. So right now you are looking at the homepage where you can see my contact information and information about your teacher. The next page is the class schedule where I will update it every week. This is the week at a glance. This is our schedule for the entire week next week. And you can also find the calendar for school year 2020-2021. I also added student info. This is the link for your Google Classroom. So if you click that, you can go to Mrs. Guisado's Google Classroom for your art class, PE class, and for your music class. Now for the parent info, you can see here the newsletter for this month, the cafeteria menu for the month of August, and technology support so that when there's problem, you can always click this for you to know how to get support from the technology department. So when you click resources, it will bring you to different rooms. Let's start with the alphabet room. So this alphabet room has a lot of things in here. You can click all the images. If you click A, it will bring you to the A room where you can learn more about letter A. We also have the number room where you can learn numbers 0 to 20. So you can click the videos so you can learn more about the number. And the last one is the library room where you can have access to a lot of books. These are read aloud videos that you can watch and read together. And if you click these books here, it will bring you to a library where you can find lots of different book collections. And the last page is the video tutorials where I made videos on how to access Google Meet and the Florida Virtual School. Now, do you want to know how to make your own Google site? Please keep on watching for the basic tutorial. First, you need to go to sites.google.com. Then you need to write your site name, for example, First Grade Class 2020-2021. You can also add your page title, for example, First Grade Class. To make it easier, click themes and just choose whatever theme you like. You can also change the background image so you can have from your album, from your Google Drive, or they also have a gallery where you can choose a lot of different background. Now, you can choose your layout. So from this one, you can add your Bitmoji. So just adjust it and just click the square icon and it will adjust on its own. And you can write your welcome message to your students.
If you want your students to get to know you more, you can add your virtual Meet the Teacher so that they can view it on their own. Or you can also add your Meet the Teacher document so they can know you better and they can also know your contact information. After you make your homepage, you want to add a page. So click Pages and click New Page. So you can add a class schedule page. So if you notice, you will still have the same theme, but you can always change your theme or your background. Mine was a little bit different. I made my own Google banner. So if you want to watch how to make your own virtual classroom and Google banner, so you can watch my other video in my channel. Now you add another layout. So you can have two, you can have three, you can have more. It's really up to you. So if you want to make it big, you can adjust it and you can click the square button for it to be big. And you can write the name if it's class schedule. So you can write class schedule and you can drag it on top. So just make sure that when you drag it, you put it on the blue line. So it will be on top of it. And you can delete extra boxes. You can delete all of those boxes so that you can adjust your class schedule or whatever document you have to make it bigger. Another thing you can do is to add a footer. You can write your email address, the name of your school, and the phone number. So this footer will appear on every page of your class site. So that is very awesome. So you can always check preview to show how it looks like. So again, to add another page, go to page, click plus sign and write the next page. So if you want virtual classroom to be included in your class site, you can also do that. For those who are not familiar with virtual classroom, I have a tutorial about that. So to add your virtual classroom, you go to Google Drive and you click your virtual classroom click insert and you can put it in your Google site so it's really great to have it so that students can access it on their own let's add again another page so click page Click the plus sign and the new page and you can call this next page parent info. So if you want to add some information for the parents to so click like newsletter um, and other information about your class. So you can upload a file from your computer or from your Google Drive or even attach a YouTube video. So there's a lot of things you can do in here. This is the best spot to place the information you want the parents to access. So 
so if you're ready you can click publish and you will be given an option to change the title so instead of making it so long just say first grade now you have the option to manage who can view your site you can change it to anyone with the link or restrict it to some people now once you're ready you can click publish and it will generate the website address then you can now share the web address of your classroom website to your parents and your students if you want to know how to make your own virtual classroom please go to my channel and click my tutorial on how to make a virtual classroom Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials.